Hey, Math 43, I had a question coming out of chapter four, number 87. Specifically, I was asked about part C and could I use binomial PDF? So, so let's talk about 87. So it says, people visiting video rental stores often rent more than one DVD at a time. Here's the PDF, right? There are five, there's a five video limit per customer. So nobody ever rents more than five. Now, if we look here, right, the variable is the number of DVD rentals. And you can tell this is an old problem because we don't really rent DVDs anymore, but back in my day we did. So here, if I look, this is a numerical variable. It is discrete. And I was asked, hey, do I have a binomial situation here? And so and when we're talking about a binomial situation, if we look, we're not talking about, or let me go through the five properties, or not five, good Lord, four. So I need a fixed number of trials. I need something to be called a success. I need trials to be independent, right? And then I need uh, the probability of success to be the same each time out. So in terms of the number of trials, do I have a fixed number of customers that I'm talking to? And the answer is no. So I don't have a fixed number of trials. And you might have said, well, you have a fixed number of DVDs that you're going to rent. And if you think of it that way, okay, but then what are you calling a success? It starts to all fall apart no matter how you slice it. And you don't have a probability of success that's constant each time out because you can see these probabilities are shifting. So, so the big thing here is this, this is not a binomial variable. And so for the folk or for the person that was saying, hey, can I use binomial PDF? The answer is no, you're, you're not allowed to use this. And you don't need to because here, yes, it was discrete, discrete numerical, but the table was given, right? You were given a PDF, so you don't have to calculate any probabilities. You already have those ready to go. So I was specifically asked about C um, and I, I'm going to go through all of them, but I, I do want to make sure I get to see. So we found our variable, right? So the variable was the number of DVD rentals per customer. And then it said, find the probability that a customer rents three um, DVDs. So since we were given these three numbers and these two numbers, I can find the missing probability using the complement rule. So you see me starting with one, and then I lose all of those probabilities, and I find out that 12 needed to go into that specific cell. So now I have my PDF complete. And I can start to answer C, which said, find the probability that at least four, or excuse me, I should say, find the probability that a customer rents at least four DVDs. So let's start inside the parentheses with X greater than or equal to four and see which numbers we want to include. So I'll start here. Is zero greater than or equal to four? Nope. So I don't want to include it. Is one greater than or equal to four? Nope. 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 Four is greater than or equal to four and five is greater than or equal to four. So I want to include those two numbers. And that's why you see me highlighting them in red. I added those two numbers together and my probability was 11%. And then it says, find the probability that somebody rents, and I'm gonna write this at, at, out at most two DVDs. So when you hear at most, for me personally, I, I can go right away to, if I hear at most, it's less than or equal to two. But some folks need to write it in a different phrasing. So you could say at most two is two or fewer. But either way, we need to get to that less than or equal to symbol because again, our format, right? We have letter, symbol, and then our number. So if I want x being less than or equal to two, let me erase the marks that I have here. And let's see if we can pinpoint which variables of x I want now. So let me start with inside the parentheses, right? x less than or equal to two. Let's see which numbers of x we want to include. All right, zero is less than or equal to two, one is less than or equal to two, and two, whoa. <laughs> Two is less than or equal to two. So that's why you see these three probabilities, they have a greenish hue to their cell because I wanted to add those three disjoint probabilities together and get 0.77. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.